Meaning no offense, Howdy. but I've got a mountain of work to do. Anybody else in town would be happy to talk to you, but... And uh, Gladys says the light in the bunk comes. And the office needs a new coat of paint sometimes. After a long day, nothing beats Deezer's lemonade! Hey, Deezer. I'll take some. Limit. Uh-huh. They're hiding something. I'm sure. Hey, Doc. You need any doctoring? Just let me know. Right. What's new, Doc? If you want... Mm-hmm. Any news out there, Doctor? If you want rumors, then... Not right now. Fine. Hello, stranger. You got anything that ails you? Why are they so afraid of synths? People that break our rules are asked to leave. Rarely happens, though. Mr. Fitzgerald. We get along just well, passers-by. Like I always say, give someone a free Have a pleasant meal, stay in covenant, stranger. Bunk up, and some civility. And they'll be all P's and Q's in no time. It's good to see a new face around. Jacob, I hope you're enjoying your stay. Tell me about yourself. I make sure, but someone... Sure. Settlement needs so much firepower. Some serious security. Maybe there's another way around it. Nice. took the survivors to a compound. Then we're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Hey, you stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. Just come out and say what you mean. Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound. So, hypothetically, let's say there's something to that. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what, 
You just stop this investigation, and I'll give you a gift. One hundred caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend any time. Surely there's room for compromise. I get stocked in survivors, and we stay friends. I'd have to know more, though. That's a tall order. A deal like that, well, that's above my pay grade. Tell you what, I'll let the Kampa know you're coming. Then you can make your case to them. Good luck. something. I'm sure of it. Just because Jacob vouched for you doesn't mean you can enter the compound. Why should I let you in? I'm coming in one way or the other. At least with the easy way, you still get to breathe. All right. Have it your way. I'll take it to Dr. Chambers. She can decide what to do with you. Don't try anything funny. You've been warned. Is it, Manny? I thought you guys were done with Subject 12. Oh, yes. The interview's over. I'm just reviewing the data on Question 4. It's fascinating, really. Yeah, I'm sure. Certainly. Other side's chained up. Extend the platform. Audit center. Stranger. The first outsider that's been in here. Stranger. Stranger. So the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived. 
Do you even know that his supposed daughter is in all likelihood a sin? No matter. Let me be upfront about this. There are two ways this meeting can end. We come to an agreement, or there's violence. I'd prefer a peaceful solution. As would I. Let me pose a question to you. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? Believe me, I've been there. But I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like it, but we're at war. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden sins, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? Who really knows what the Institute is responsible for? And how do they manage to keep us in the dark? A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Impossible. The odds are too great she's an Institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise everything. Are you threatening me, Dan? I have myself a code. That's not always good on my wallet, but it helps. Sorry. That's a deal I won't accept. Then you'll just have to kill me. Watch yourself. <laughs> safe now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm Amelia Stockton. I'm not a synth. I believe you. I just want this nightmare to end. My father, old man Stockton, he will reward you. Just let me out. Please. Hey there. Help me. Oh, thank goodness. I'm free. I'm never ever coming back here. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Uh-huh. It was good working with you. Likewise. Glad you were on my side. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. I did more than half the work on this job. My share should reflect that. There's some truth to that. 60-40 work for you? 60-40? Really? Try 90-10. 90-10? Is that a joke? 
I risked my life, same as you. 70-30 is my final offer. Without me, you'd be dead. Maybe I should ask for it all. Fine. I'll give you 90-10. But if you want the other 10%, you better be prepared to fight for it. How are the subject's vitals? It's a little unsteady, but within... Who, who are you? What? what's... Oh! Son of a bitch! Do that... Oh! Once. Speak only when spoken to. <laughs> Please continue. The subject is ready for baseline testing. Subject. Answer the questions quickly and with what first comes to mind. You're approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Is that... that safe test... Answer the question. I, 
I, I, I don't know. I don't know science stuff. I ignore him. Ignore him, you say? Oh, fascinating.
it. Got it.
got it.
Captain speaking. We're taking on an Allied soldier. Clear the berth. Disable defenses. Make way. Intruder. Intruder requesting permission to use lethal force. Whoa, whoa, easy there. Unable to comply. I, Captain, standing down. None of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. Thanks for calling him off, mate. The scan shows you have the proper number of appendages still, so all is well. I am Captain Ironsides, commander of the USS Constitution. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. Be calm these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan! I spit at you. A sad state of affairs for such a historic ship. On that, we are in agreement. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have naught but Morats and ne'er do wells as targets. Enough pleasantries? The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. If I help you, I expect part of the payment up front. What a singular request! Were you in the Navy, I would remind you of your oath. But, as a soldier, I will authorize a performance bonus payable immediately. Consult with the ship's purser. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. A few warning shots usually suffice to see it. Your very presence does this humble unit a great honor. My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain! You certainly have pep. I obliged for the compliment. But on to the mission of the day. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power. Uh -huh. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. I'll get right on it. My anxiety emulators are lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. Is through the Constitution's veins again. Her systems, long starved, flick out to life. 
a hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to my shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Don't worry. I'll get you up and running. Only for you, sir. Power relay coils are common enough, but might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seas. Defending the Constitution. Power flows far and steady. I would applaud you. But alas, I cannot, due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, sir. Huzzah! Well, you're very welcome, Bosun. You are too kind. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttlebutties, our guidance system is on our last legs. If not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. Assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. You robots do a good job of defending your ship. Proclamation one. Defend the Constitution by any means necessary. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. I can help. Where is it? Stolen by human scavengers. Reclaim chip at scavengers forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir.
<clears throat> Don't shoot. Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They wouldn't try to frag you anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. Sounds like I was just in the wrong place. It happens. Ah, oh, thanks. A lot of those assholes were already on edge, and you waltzed right into the Constitution. Just push them over. How did you get aboard, anyway? We thought you were gonna get cratered, for sure. He knew I was an Army veteran, so he let me on the ship. Army? Isn't that some old-world mumbo-jumbo? Whatever. So, you got to see the inside, huh? All that salvage. The real mother load, just waiting to be stripped and sold. It's probably worth a fortune. We score this one and no more scrounging in the gutters. Ever. So you talked with a tin can. What do you have to say? Ironside says you stole a guidance chip. He wants it back. His guidance chip, right. You know what he needs it for, his rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. I'm sure there's a good reason he needs them. You seriously want to help that idiot bolts for brains? Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with him. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This guy's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. No deal. I'm with Ironsides. Then screw you, asshole. You're lucky we don't gun you down. Hey there. What are you looking at? Speed zero knots. Warning overdue for maintenance. It's an honor to crew such a story. That's all.
That's it. Mr. Navigator. Ahoy, soldier. Ship recovered. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report. One error remaining. Guidance radar's transmitter is not functional. Requires replacement. Happy to help you out. Again. Soldier's happiness is irrelevant. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. Hey, Navigator. At current speed, we, we will arrive at destination in undefined hours. Ahoy, soldier. Guidance system fully. Mm -hmm. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain, sir. Warning. Overdue for Hey, Captain. You've been of service to our nobles. I am pleased you recovered the guidance chip without bloodshed. Though the scavengers have caused us grievous injury, our goals must be nobler than face revenge. I figured a little theft was better than a lot of blood. They seek to impugn the honor of the military. Truly, there is no depth they will not sink to. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. I'm always happy to help. I would expect nothing less. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. Women have struck their colors. Leave the ship and never return.
Got it.
patrolling. Unidentified intruders detected. Beginning search. Hey, robot. Clear deck of intruders. Error. Captain Ironsides. Trim the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing at long last we'll set sail. Our hero of the hour is to thank. You've earned a double share, sir. Well done. My pleasure. You are truly worthy, sir, of witnessing our maiden voyage. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings and loan. The Constitution will launch into the heavens, and after, gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. That's ambitious. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Those motherless curs! Prepare the broadside! Defend the... Unless I am mistaken.
this will be administered. Hey, the captain. Are repelled. All hands, prepare ship for launch. Congratulations, Captain. There is one thing. We need power from the auxiliary generator to commence our voyage. I will defend this vessel in the final last breath.
Captain Ironsides. The borders are repelled. All hands, prepare ship for launch. I'll be going then. There is one thing. We need power from the auxiliary. Consider it done. I admire your pluck. Here is your amply deserved reward. Godspeed to you, sir. Navigator, light the engines. Brandon, savings and loan. We shall be more no longer. We are away. Two points to stop. I've got a weapon here for every situation. Sure. Let's take a look. A gun.
Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I <clears throat> Sorry, Shroud. I don't have any walk upgrades out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Nick, let's I'm go Miles talk to Amari. You big flirt. Dr. Amari? Amari. Yes. Well, what is this about? We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Skip to the good part, Doc. We plug the brain implant into Mr. Valentine. Assuming he's willing to take on the risks. Hell, why not? Plenty of room in my head anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? A lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used to? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there, and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. <laughs> Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories, and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find.
Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the Raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking Don't for. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe there at some point in his life he wasn't a complete intact asshole. intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the Raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you another memory to try. weren't there to help them. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. I'll try to locate another memory as quickly as I can. Please try to remain calm. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long.
It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or...? Just elimination. Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Nick. Oh, 
hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. I'm gonna head out on my own from here, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. <clears throat> it was just great. See the shroud in action? Even for a little while. Maybe one day I could... Hmm. Maybe one day I could...
Stranger, you approach Atom's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. I'm here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Atom, to be split in his infinite glory, or do you seek to tear down his followers? I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. I need to speak with you. What do you need of me, child? I'm looking for someone named... Yes. I... What do you want with him? Uh-huh. I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Atom. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors.
Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg, huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead? He's... dead. Don't you lie to me! I'm not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me! Why are you even here? What do you want? Can you tell me anything about the Institute? I need to get in there. Can I? Are you joking? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? It... it doesn't matter. Fine. You know what? I don't even want to know. You want to get yourself killed, that's your problem. But I'm telling you, that's what's going to happen. I can help you get in there. But I want something in return. You help me and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you are going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you. All right, let's talk details. First things first, you know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well, not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? Sure, lots of them. Don't bullshit me. More than one of them and you wouldn't be standing here right now. Coursers are Institute synths, designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You are going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now. The relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that Pip-Boy, right? When you get to the ruins, 
Tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to... not get killed. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for.